Good morning children and welcome to First Steps Sunday School. Um, we are going to start as usual by singing our hello song. Join in at home. Hello Nathan, hello Nathan, hello Nathan, it's good to see you here. Hello Jude, hello Jude, hello Jude, it's good to see you here. Hello Izzy, hello Izzy, hello Izzy, it's good to see you here. Hello Violet, hello Violet, hello Violet, it's good to see you here. Hello Fletcher, hello Fletcher, hello Fletcher, it's good to see you here. Hello Logan, hello Logan, hello Logan, it's good to see you here. Hello Nikki, hello Nikki, hello Nikki, it's good to see you here. Hello Isaiah, hello Isaiah, hello Isaiah, it's good to see you here. Hello Portia, hello Portia, hello Portia, it's good to see you here. Hello Nathan, hello Nathan, hello Nathan, it's good to see you here. And welcome to anybody else who's watching this morning. Today's story is taken from the first part of the Bible in the Old Testament. Now we start with a lady called Hannah. Hannah was married, but she didn't have any children and she was desperate, desperate to have a baby. She wanted to have a son, but nothing happened. She couldn't conceive. And so she used to pray to God every day, please give me a child, Lord. But still she had no child. One day she went to the big church in the city of Jerusalem and she was outside the church on the steps and she was praying and begging God and, and crying out to God so that he would give her a child. And she said to God, if you give me a baby, then I will give him back to you. I will bring him back to you so that he can work and serve you in this place and while she was praying and crying on the steps before the big church there was a man who saw her and he was the uh, priest who worked at the church and he came over to her he thought she was had been drinking too much wine and she was drunk and he was going to tell her off but when Hannah explained why and what she was doing he said, do not worry, God will hear your prayer. And so Hannah went back home and yes, God did hear her prayer and she did get pregnant and the baby grew inside her and she gave birth to a beautiful boy and she called him Samuel. Now she kept Samuel, Samuel with her until he was a little bit older. So he wasn't a baby anymore. He was about your age. He was about five or six. And Samuel then was taken by Hannah to the big church in Jerusalem and to the priest. And she gave him to the priest and she said, I promised God that when Samuel was born, I would give him back to God so that he could work for God in his church. And so the priest took Samuel inside and started to train him and Samuel would help in the big church and serve God there. Now one night when Samuel was still very young, he woke up in the night because someone was calling his name. He could hear a voice and the voice was saying, Samuel, Samuel. Now Samuel thought it was the priest Eli. So he went into the priest's room and said, what do you want Eli? What can I do for you? And Eli said, well, I didn't call you Samuel, go back to bed. And Samuel went back to sleep and then he heard the voice again, Samuel, Samuel. So he got up again thinking it was Eli and he went back into Eli's room. And Eli said, no, Samuel, it wasn't me. But 
it might have been God. So if you hear someone calling your name again, the next time you hear it, say, here I am, Lord, I'm listening. And so Samuel went back to sleep and again he heard the voice, Samuel, Samuel. And this time he said, I can hear you, Lord, I'm listening. And God spoke to Samuel and told him that he was going to work for him and that he was going to have a very important job. And that one day he would be like Eli and he would lead God's people uh, in the ways and the, the, the things of God. So even though Samuel was very, very young, God told him how he was going to use him in work for him. And you know what? God can use you too. And he can speak to you even though you're very young too. And in, he can talk to you in dreams and in the night. And he can also tell you what he has planned for you too. So if you hear God calling your name, what do you need to say? I'm listening, God. That's right. We're going to sing one more song and then we're going to close with a prayer. We're going to sing God is good to me because God was good to Hannah. He heard her prayer and he answered her. He goes, God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. God is good to me. God is good to me. He holds my hand. He helps me stand. God is good to me. So, hands together and eyes closed. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are good and that you do hear our prayers when we pray to you. Thank you that you keep your promises. We ask that you would look after us and our families at this time and keep us safe and that we would have ears that are ready and waiting to hear what you want to say to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. So children, I will see you next week. Have a good week. God bless. Take care.